Hi there, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network. And this is another Black History Month moment in weather history. I did one back on February 3rd as well. For this story, many of us are familiar with the Tuskegee Airmen of World War II. We've seen movies about it. But did you know that there was a Tuskegee weather detachment? That likely produced the very first black meteorologists. The Tuskegee Airmen were the first black military officers for the U.S. Army Air Corps, the AAC. That is the precursor to what we know today as the United States Air Force. Their impressive performance earned them more than 150 distinguished flying crosses and helped to encourage the eventual full integration of the U.S. Armed Forces. However, I read this story in Air Power History magazine. In July of 1940, they had only 62 weather forecasters who were under employment, but the two branches of the Air Force were looking to be brought together, and that was going to result in the need for anywhere from 10 to 20 thousand weather personnel enter the tuskegee weathermen among their most notables were wallace reed he started in 1941 was selected as the first black air cadet he was also the first black weather officer for the air corps weather service Then there was Charles Anderson. He is believed to be the first black American to earn a doctorate in meteorology at the prestigious MIT. And then Robert Preer, who was the first black American to enter a fully desegregated United States Air Force. The Tuskegee Weathermen were pioneers in both the American Armed Forces as well as the civilian world and blazed a path for those that would come after them. From this moment in weather history.